Good morning, fellow Plexers. Today we're going to quickly help Mr. Molotov, who's asked a question on my YouTube channel. It was under the video, New Windows 11 Install with Media Libraries on three different drives. So he said, I have Windows 11, I have installed the Plex Media Server, and it will install and says it's running in Task Manager, but will not open the pop-up. Okay, so obviously I'm not running Windows, and this, this really wasn't worthy enough for me to throw a Windows NVMe drive into my um, one of my two bench systems because it's an easy solution. And it starts with a Plex support article titled, Opening Plex Web App. So sometimes a Windows Plex server won't open when you first start it, first install it. And there's a couple different ways. A primary way is to use the actual local IP address. So why don't you start a text document just to get some things formatted. I think Windows still has Notepad, right? So I'm just going to paste that in, and then I'm going to paste this in too. So there's three ways to open a new Plex server up to claim it. The first two is through localhost, and it's just like this. This is just a copy and paste, but this can only be done on the machine that's running the Plex server itself. Now, from anywhere else on your network, you can use this address. You simply substitute in the local IP address for the machine. And I've got the Deco page open. Let me refresh that. De TP-Link Deco routers have kind of minimal um, interfaces through the web. It's mostly all handled through the smart app on your phone. Okay, so say... Say, where am I? Say this was the server I'm trying to reach. That's the address I need. That's the local IP address. So you get that from your router, and you just substitute that in. And that should reach a server, too. Well, actually, I didn't copy that in, did I? It, it didn't copy from the app. So let me just do that manually. So we're looking at 192.168.68.116. So so you can copy and paste any of these URLs into a web browser. So I'm not running a server on my desktop here under Pop! OS, a Linux operating system. So if I paste that in, nothing happens. But I can reach this server by pasting that URL in, and this server is already claimed. So I'm at all my servers through the web app, and you can see them when I hit the, the um, wrench icon, and you can see the different servers that are running. This one is my main one. The other ones are test servers for different videos. So now this will be for anyone who had to recreate a server where one already existed. Whether it's under Windows or Linux or Mac, what you'll want to do is before you start up the new server that's supposed to be a fresh one, you need to go into the web app settings and go to authorized devices change all the server and remove the old server you no longer want by clicking the app, the x and, and saying yes to the prompt to remove it and again that's only if you're not going to use the same server so if you've if you've redone windows or you're using a new version of linux where you've wiped the previous one and the old plex server is physically gone remove it from here before you try to claim the new one even if you're claiming with the same name get rid of the get rid of the history of the old one before you claim so that's really about it that should get you going mr molotov um and some people make the mistake of not having the web on here they just try to use this or this 
without the forward slash web. So hopefully that gets you going. If not, let me know and happy plexing.